Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm just finishing up what's known as Petroglyph Trail here in uh, Mesa Verde today and uh, it's a bit daunting in places actually and I got some some pictures I might include them at the end of this little story here and um, the trail runs along um, a couple hundred feet beneath the rocks the top of the rocks where the um, Anasazi uh, kept their quiff, cliff dwellings and, and then there's, there's one small cliff dwelling along the route and then there are the petroglyphs and the pictures I got are some of the pictures of the trail and anyway you'll see so I thought I'd conclude the story about the trip to Yellowstone after the turning point that I started to talk about um, in the camping video, which was I think the last video, the end is 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 kind of simple. So the night after I got to Yellowstone, and and tested my nerves by camping out in the wilderness and being wide awake all night long, right? <laughs> it was kind of like a vigil, but I was unhurt with the morning light as I mentioned in the last um, video. So that day I thought I'd go for a hike and um, meditate. So I went off someplace where other people didn't go. And, um, and I sat down with a view of a little uh, mountain meadow and the mountains in the background and the beautiful blue and sky with the white clouds. And I sat down and meditated all day long because after all this was a turning point in my life, right? And I had a vision that, that day, uh, which I, it, it, you know, visions are the kind of thing where they can have a tremendous effect. In this case, it had an effect on me. I was in my 20s for the rest of my life. And yet, when you go to explain them, when you try to explain them, it's really kind of hard to, to get that kind of significance into words. So, um... I'm going to try. <laughs> um, I was sitting with a, with a view of the, um, of the beautiful mountain scene. And uh, after I sat for a while, it seemed to me that what I saw, it was no longer three-dimensional. Three it was more like a painting, a beautiful painting made of light. And uh, it had no, for me, it had no substance to it. It was a beautiful, like, scroll of light. Uh, flat. Beautiful. And uh, while I was admiring that and looking up at that, after a while I looked up at the clouds, and the clouds were, like, moving across the sky. It was getting on towards perhaps blowing up to a storm. And, and it was a beautiful vision of clouds going past faster and faster, right? And then I had a, a deeper vision where I wasn't even on Earth. I was suddenly um, someplace where I could see the entire Earth before me, out in outer space, right? And while I was watching Earth, I sensed the presence of um, around her outside, around her perimeter, of beautiful, wise, ancient guardian spirits that were that were their job was to take care of Earth and to and to make sure that we we were all on the right course. And uh, I couldn't even describe these spirits. They they were so deep, so profound, and so touching to me to know that that Earth and all of us are are guided and guarded by being so magnificent and so wise and by our lights eternal. <laughs> it was great. So ever since that day, I've had a different view of my life and of what Earth really is. I stopped thinking of myself and of Earth and sky and all that's here as a purely physical thing. 
And I started regarding me and all the beauty around me as pure spirit, guided by spirit. So quite a turning point in my life. I've never forgotten it. I'm, to this day, uh, deeply grateful that I was granted that vision. That's all for now. See you guys. Take care.